Okay, now some observations. One very simple observation is, uh, can you identify the perfect squares out of the numbers that I have given to you? Which one are the perfect squares? 100 is a perfect square, 576 is a perfect square, 225 is a perfect square. These are all perfect squares. And earlier we had done 144, that was 2 to the power 4 into 3 square and the number of factors was 5 into 3, that was 15 factors. What is one thing common about this? About all of them? 144, 100, 576, 2 to 5. If you see the number of factors for each one of them is an odd number. So number of factors for each one of them is an odd number. There is another thing that you can notice. For a perfect square when you factorize, the powers will always be even numbers. Check for any, any, any perfect square. If, if, you, if you factorize a perfect square, the powers will always be even number. We don't do anything, it, it automatically happens by virtue of the property of numbers. Okay. So just understand that, that uh, uh, it's like for any number which is a perfect square, if it, it can be factorized like this, p to the power 2, something to the power 2. So if p can be further factorized, in any case each prime factor here will have a power which will be a multiple of 2, hence even number. Now when you add 1 to each of those powers, each of those values after adding 1 will become odd. Any even number, when 1 is added, each of them becomes odd. Now when you multiply odd numbers, the outcome will always be an odd number. Hence the number of factors will always be odd. So I'll just write a statement. For a perfect square, for a perfect square, the number of factors is always odd. Please understand this thing. Number of factors is always odd. Alright? Now, here there is one thing that I need to mention, vice versa. Now, what does it mean? If there is a number which is a perfect square, the number of factors will be odd. Similarly, if a number has odd number of factors, it has to be a perfect square. That is one way to look at it. The other way is, if there is a number which is not a perfect square, like say 120, 720, 1000, 36000, these are not perfect squares. So now if the number is not perfect square, the number of factors will always be even, as you can see, 16, 72, or, and then so on. Okay, so I repeat, for a perfect square, the number of factors is always odd number, and for a non-perfect square, for a non-perfect square, the number of factors is always even and vice versa. So if I give you a question, listen very carefully. If I give you a question like this, a number has 25 factors. I just say one simple statement. A number has 25 factors. What is the influence that you can take out from that? At least one information that you can take out from there is, I'll, I'll first write the statement. A number n has 25 factors. Can you tell me anything about that number n? There is at least one thing that you can say. What? The number of factors is 25. 25 means or, so it has to be a perfect square. That means n is definitely a perfect square. What perfect square that we don't know, but at least we can say that it has to be a perfect square. That's what I mean. Similarly, if I say a number has a number p has let's say 52 factors, what is that one thing that you can definitely say about this number? You can definitely say that it is not a perfect square. Why? Because if it was a perfect square, the number of factors should have been odd. If for for, for non-perfect square, the number of factors is even. So here the number of factors is even, hence P is definitely a non-perfect square. That is for sure. The question can be something like this. For this one the question can be root M can be. And there will be four options. So you will say it will be a rational number. Right? Because if it is a perfect square, the square root will exist. Right? Here, the root of p will be an 
irrational number. The options were irrational, rational, everything would be there. You have to mark because P is not a perfect square. So root P will be an irrational number. That is how you need to look at them. Okay. 